How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can control your Apple Watch with gestures. That's right, as you can see I'm fully controlling it with just one hand, the hand I'm wearing the watch. And the coolest thing about this process here is that you can enable it right now on your Apple Watch and it gets even better because this is compatible with the Apple Watch Series 4 and later so not just new watches and i'm saying that because apple unveiled this feature as if it was something completely new and exclusive to the apple watch series 9 and apple watch ultra 2 but no 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 you can enable this right now on your apple watch series 4 or newer this is so, so cool. Let's get started. So first things first, I wanna get you familiar with the gestures because there are actually four by default, okay? So the number one would be clench, a single clench, okay, just one. Uh, you have a double clench, you have a pinch, and a double pinch. And you can do pretty much everything with this. So uh, your double clench, will activate the feature, which I'm gonna show you in a second, of course, how you can do this step by step, okay? And then with the pinch, you can navigate. As you can see, I'm going forwards and forwards and forwards on my complications. If I double pinch, I go backwards. So that's navigation, so forwards, and then two, I go backwards, and it works perfectly. Uh, if I double clench once again, I get this awesome menu right here, and then I can easily navigate on it, as you can see, forwards and backwards, and then clench once, it activates, so it's a confirmation button, and then once again double for the menu, once again single, four, press crown, and I'm back on my home screen. I know it seems very confusing and hard to use, but it's not, just a few minutes you get familiar with it, okay? so. Let me show you how you can enable this right now. It's so simple. So all you have to do is press on our digital crown and we're gonna use two hands because I have the feature disabled, right? And then go ahead here and tap on your settings and then scroll down, keep scrolling until you find accessibility. Yes, this is an accessibility feature. Scroll down a bit more, quite a bit, pretty much halfway, okay? Until you see assistive touch right there. Tap on assistive touch and then enable it. If you don't see this option, if you don't see assistive touch, uh, it's either because your Apple Watch, it's older than a Series 4, so it's a Series 3, 2, or older, or maybe you have a compatible Apple Watch, but you're just outdated on the software. So go ahead and update your Apple Watch software, and you see the option right here. So tap on it, enable it, you see the blue highlight, this blue ring, which tells you that it's actually on and it's always going to show up on your Apple Watch and it's actually super cool. And here, of course, you have a lot of options and customization. This is endless, but honestly, I recommend you that you use the default gestures, just like I showed you. Clench, double clench, pinch, double pinch, okay? That's how Apple designed it and I think it's the best way to do it. And then all you gotta do is start using it. So as you know, when you are here on your watch face, double clench to activate the feature and then you can easily navigate with your pinch. So single pinch, it goes forward as I showed you before and then double pinch, it goes backwards as you guys can see. So it works honestly perfectly guys. Uh, it's so, so cool and it works very, very well. And then when you are, when you highlight what you wanna do, right? All you have to do is clench once and then you're gonna confirm and then open up, right? This is the action. It's just a single clench. It's like your confirmation is like your touch, right? And then here you can navigate, you can do whatever you want, just like you're used to, as you can see. I'm navigating here backwards and forwards. And of course, you can do better than that because you can double clench right here and then you get the menu right there and then you can easily navigate, turn up, and then you can once, right? One single clench, confirmation. So it just rolled our digital crown. Once again, it rolled once again. And then that's it, guys. It works so, so well, as you can see. And then double clench once again. I have canceled that action double clench once again now we're on the menu press crown one single clench we're back on the home screen and that's it it works so so well guys so that's how you control your apple watch with gestures with one single hand the hand you're actually wearing the watch right now 
compatible with the Apple Watch Series 4 and newer. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe, and that's it. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.